It was stressful. I'm going to be honest. It was times, like I said, I just wanted to give up on it because it's like waking up one morning and realizing in your bank account you only have $4 and the lift is $17. And you're just like, how the heck am I going to get to school to keep this going? So one day I just was scrolling through TikTok like a normal person does. And then this lady, she just pops up and she tells us about what she does. So after I realized, you know, that's something I might want to do, I looked at Wiregrass and they actually offered the program with the correct accreditation. I was just like, this must be God. We started the program with Kayla in January of 23. So in speaking with Kayla, she said, um, I don't have a vehicle. Is that going to interfere with anything right now? Sometimes I will walk and that's a long walk from over there on Bay Tree to over here to Wiregrass. And so she would work, she'd come to class, and we would be in class usually from 8 in the morning till 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. She'd leave straight from there and go to work. So some days she'd be sitting in class and I would see her, she'd start nodding, or sometimes she'd even start snoring on us and the other students would say, that's And it was one day where I had to order an Uber and the Uber was like across town and it said it'd be there in time and I'd make it, but it didn't make it in time and I ended up missing clinicals. After seven minutes, you're considered tardy, you go home. She spent the last cash she had to make it to the clinical site. So she walked from the clinical site home. I had to walk from the hospital back home. It was a whole big ordeal. And I just was like, you know what, screw this. I'm not doing it no more. I can't keep doing it. I'm showing up late, I'm falling asleep. I can't even make it to a simple observation day on time. How the heck am I gonna make it to almost three semesters of a real clinical rotation without a vehicle? Honestly, I was really concerned. If she was gonna be able to make it through the program, um, stay awake, pass her test. And she called me and talked to me and she said, I, I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't. And I said, you can do this, you know, if you want this, we'll figure it out, we'll work through this. But then my sister was like, you're working hard, you're saving up money, I'll meet you halfway. If you can put down a certain amount, I can help you put down the rest of it and we can get you a car, you're not quitting school. And when I actually went to a dealership, they told me no, I went to another one. Still, no. And I tried one more place. It was like my last resort, honestly. I don't know why. So I went, I test drive maybe two or three vehicles. And I landed on my Jeep Compass. And I was like, I want that one. She was like, that one? I was like, yeah. So she's like, all right, let's do the paperwork. And when I say I about cried, I'm about to cry now. Um, <laughs> sorry. To my teacher, I just want to tell her thank you for dealing with me and all my nonsense and not giving up on me. And then Wiregrass for being a good help and like giving me other options when I didn't have it, financial aid, transportation help. Wiregrass is a great place. Everybody treats you like you're one of their own and they won't give up on you. There's light. I can see it. I'm almost done.